everyone, and welcome to the Research Library ProQuest demonstration for keyword searching. In this video, I'm going to help you move into an additional search phrase based on our previous search, and also show you how to search for a magazine or trade journal article in Research Library ProQuest. When listing your keywords, you're going to want to list both the ones you initially started with. So for me, I started with sanitation and health and then any synonyms or related terms you choose to add to this search. I decided to go with hand washing, but I didn't know if hand washing was one word or two word. That's why I have both. With these keywords, we're then going to construct a search phrase. Again, search phrase is just the fancy word for what are we typing in the search box. The instructions tell us that we have to use at least two Boolean operators this time, and we also have to use nesting in a way that we think will be most effective. Nesting is parentheses, and that's only used whenever we use OR. So we know that one of our two Boolean operators is going to be an OR. There are many different correct ways to construct a search phrase. You may use more ands than someone else or more ors than someone else. You may use all ands sometimes. It really depends on how your topics fit together. So we started off with sanitation and health as my initial search phrase. Hand washing is a more specific element of sanitation. So in order to add those in, it would make most sense to use or. Because in each case, I'm saying that only one of these words has to be present. As long as it mentions sanitation or hand washing, either as a single word or as two words, it's still relevant to me. But because I'm using or, I also have to use nesting. Nesting indicates that I need to search the portion in the parentheses first. And this is so whenever I go to get my results, it mentions only one of these and health. If I didn't have nesting, it would just read it straight. So I might get something on sanitation that did not mention health. For step three, I would then identify my and, or, and nesting and explain why I use them. But I'm going to go ahead and go to the actual search. Let me grab my search phrase here. Now it says to use the search phrase and limiters based on the requirements specified in the scenario. So you may have to scroll back up to see what those are. It indicates that we have to find a magazine or trade journal article that's in full text, in English, and published within the last five years. So we want to make sure that all of those limiters are in place whenever we do our search. To get to Research Library ProQuest, you have to go to the Articles and Databases tab on the library homepage. If you are logging in off campus, you'll need to sign in with your W number and six digit birthday. But if you're on campus like I am, it should open just like this. When you are entering your search phrase, you have two options. You can either put the entire search phrase into one search box or you can separate them out at the end. The important thing here is you want to make sure that any of your or words are nested and put in the same box. I'll show you why. Let's say I didn't do that. What if I added a row? and said hand washing or hand washing instead of putting it here. You can see that I have quite a few results. Not all of them necessarily mention health and hand washing though. Whereas, if I make sure that they're all ORed together in the same box and use our nesting,
even without limiters, I've already dropped my results about 2000 because now it's requiring that if one of these words are present, health must also be present. Now that I know that I have it entered correctly, I'm going to put the limiters. I want to limit it to full text. For five years, I'm going to use this publication date limiter. The easiest way is to go down to the very last one that says specific date range. You do not have to put a month or a day. You just have to put the year. So if I want five years and it's 2020, I would put 2015 as my start date and 2020 as my end date. To make sure it's a magazine or trade journal article, I'll go to the source type limiter and check off magazines and trade journals. Trade journals are a kind of selective magazine, normally published within a profession. For language, I'll go over to the right, scroll down until I see English, and check off that box as well. So this also has all of our limiters that were specified in the scenario. If we want to double check that, we can look on the left and make sure that the limiters match what we want, and if they don't, we can fix them accordingly. Some of the things that we need to record here, we've looked at before, like article title and periodical title, but We've only looked at the citation tool and permalink in Academic Search Complete. So let's see what all four of these look like here. I am going to pick five myths about hand washing, because that sounds pretty neat, and click on abstract details in order to see the full record. In this database, the title field is the title of the article. The publication title field is the title of the periodical, meaning the title of the magazine or trade journal that this article was published in. In order to use the citation tool, look to the top right where it says cite. When you click on this, it automatically defaults to APA edition. So from the drop down menu, scroll down until you see MLA 8th edition. When you click on that, it will automatically convert the citation into the appropriate format. For the permalink, there's two places you can look. The first one is actually in the record. One of the fields is called document URL. This is the place of the permalink. So you could copy and paste this. Or in the tools menu at the top right, you could go to the three dots that say all options. When you do that, the very first thing you see next to kind of a little paperclip looking thing is the permalink. Either one of these will give you the permalink. And then for subject terms, here they're just called subjects. So my four subjects for this article are hands, alcohol, soap, and bacteria. I hope that you find this video helpful as you complete the assignment, and I will see you again in the next video.